It is one of the most fiercely contested matches in the English game. And it's live from Old Trafford. Stay with us. We'll have every kick of the ball for you right here on EA TV. Germany's first corner. Plenty of height on it. It's gone through. Germany score! It's exactly what Brazil was dreading. Thomas Muller with his fifth goal of these world of the game so far oh and a mistake in defence here could let Cross in a chance of a second for Germany Brazil in real trouble they're in dire trouble now we have a World Cup record supplied by Miroslav Klose goal number 16 in his World Cup career well they were all at sea well, the Brazilian defence here. And uh, Germany looking good for the final on Sunday. They might get another one here. It's 3 0. It's a run for the Germans. The game may be won and lost inside 25 minutes, thanks to the left foot of Tony Cruz. The Brazilians are in disbelief. They are stunned. They have come here for a samba and they have been. It might get worse. This is from four. This is quite astonishing. It's all over now. It really is all over for Brazil. Two for Kroos in two minutes. It's a disaster. The little boy is crying his eyes out. The whole nation is in disbelief, stunned into silence. Tony Crow here again, there's three forward, Kadira, Ozil, they're queuing up, they're all going to score at this rate. Kadira, the latest name on the score sheet, and the Brazilians look as though they want to go to the dressing room already. There is no hiding place for this rampant German side. What on earth? to defend once again, Lahm. Wide is Kadira, back into Lahm. Square, 6-0 it is. Hardly anybody is celebrating. And I think some Brazilians will be leaving Estadio Mineral now because this equals the heaviest defeat in Brazilian history. Going back to 1920 when they lost 6-0 to Uruguay. night they're going to have but uh, they might have number seven here now they have got seven it's hammered in an absolutely terrific strike from Schurler who has his second in a matter of minutes and this embarrassment for Brazil is more acute by the minute it is now a record defeat for Brazil Julio Cesar has had to pick the ball out of his net seven times. Schurler lashed it in off the underside of the bar. And it leads to the most extraordinary scoreline, I think, in World Cup history. I think it's fair to say this. 79 minutes played in Belo Horizonte. And a scoreline, Brazil nil, Germany seen a goal less celebrated in my life the Brazilian supporters don't know what to do they don't know whether to laugh or to cry or to cheer or to groan this is what they've been waiting for all day Oscar in 
onto the center, onto the center spot actually. And one of these will emerge as a winner. Guzman. Schneider. Robin looking to reach and does. His second touch puts him in range. His third finds the back of the net. They have turned it right around. Just before the break and just after. Two golden goals. And from 1 0 down. The Dutch lead by two goals to one. There was a real Spanish type feel to the way the Dutch were playing leading up to this, keeping hold of possession. Robin's touch was immaculate and a finish superb. It's Wesley Snyder with the, uh, the cross. Oh, it's bubbled in! Bubbled in on the far post! Nothing wrong with that! De Vrij gets the final touch! Would you believe this scoreline? Spain won, Netherlands three. Stefan de Vrij's first international goal. Untidier than the first two, but it means just as much. I'm not sure which body part that came off last. It started on his head, it might have rolled down his knee. He's just of the World Cup four years ago. The Sears has to hurry! Dispossessed! Van Persie! It's a fourth! Unbelievable! This is now reaching the realms of Dutch fairy tale! The holders are not being beaten here tonight, they are being humbled and humiliated! Casillas concedes again, and it was his mistake. Well, this will send shockwaves around the football world. Van Persie second, the Netherlands fourth, and he couldn't believe the opportunity. The Iranian referee was in, no doubt, Antoine Griezmann. First blood, France, 1-0. Griezmann strikes again, and it's the early breakthrough they were looking for. Di Maria, oh, what a goal, what a strike! Argentina level, it's Angel Di Maria with the sweetest of strikes. Vanega takes it, goes a long way, comes out to Messi. On that famous left foot, deflected and in! And Argentina lead! Well, this is just amazing stuff. France with the youngest. It's the early breakthrough they were looking for. Di Maria. Oh, what a goal, what a strike! Argentina level. It's Angel Di Maria with the sweetest of strikes. Vanega takes it, goes a long way, comes out to Messi. On that famous left foot, deflected and in! And Argentina lead! Well, this is just amazing stuff. France with the youngest squad at the tournament. And Argentina with the oldest squad. And Argentina with the oldest squad of those who've stayed in so far. Pavard! Benjamin Pavard puts France level in what is turning out to be a pretty astonishing game. On the turn there was Matuidi and Mbappé! Oh yes, France in this seesaw game, 3-2 up. Matuidi, good ball, Giroud helped on here, and Mbappé, has got another one! 4-2! Messi again. 3 2 up. Matuidi, good ball. Giroud helped on here. And Mbappe's got another one. 4 2.
Messi again. And Argentina have another one. Sergio Aguero, 4-3. But Messi's out of the World Cup and Argentina are out. France have won it, 4-3. away from Bernardo Silva. Alba. Isco. Alba. Silva. Persistence from Spain. Now it might drop for the shot here. Oh, what a shot that is! Nacho! The man who gave away the penalty early on in this match has... Plenty to enjoy and marvel at, in truth. And the bowing for him. 